Did you know that inside old CPU fan, there's a hidden electronic treasure? Today, I'll show you how to extract a free Hall effect sensor and use it in your DIY projects. Stay tuned because this tiny part is super powerful. Before opening up the old CPU fan, let's first take a closer look. Inside every CPU fan, there's usually a small but powerful component called a Hall effect sensor. If your fan has one, then it's worth opening it up and I'll show you exactly how to remove it safely. First, carefully peel off the sticker at the back of the CPU fan. This sticker usually covers the main locking mechanism. Underneath it, you'll find a small retaining clip. Gently remove it and the fan blades will come off smoothly without much effort. With the blades removed, we now have access to the main body of the fan. Next, take a cutter or a small precision tool and carefully cut open the casing of the fan. This step requires patience and safety. Always keep your fingers away from the blade and work slowly to avoid any accidents. Once the casing is open, you'll clearly see the internal PCB that controls the fan. Now, look closely at the PCB and you'll notice tiny solder joints that hold the Hall effect sensor in place. This sensor is the small 4-pin component responsible for detecting the magnetic field of the fan motor. To remove it, gently heat each solder joint with your soldering iron until the solder melts and carefully lift the sensor out. Take your time during this step. If you rush, you might damage the sensor or break its delicate pins. Now, here it is, the Hall effect sensor we've been looking for. But as you can see, its pins are very short, which makes it hard to use directly in breadboards or projects. To fix this, I'll first apply a little solder on each pin, then solder in the trimmed leads of resistors as extensions. After cutting off the excess, the pins are now longer and much easier to use. This Hall effect sensor is now ready to be used in many exciting electronics projects. In fact, I've already used one in one of my recent builds. You can check out the full video on my channel. Don't forget, old electronics often hide gems like this, so never throw them away without taking a closer look.